I'd like to talk a little bit about mending. I get a lot of questions about this. I, I guide seven days a week, and so I get to do a lot of training with people. I thought I'd share a couple points with you. Um, first of all, uh, the, first, the first mend in a drift is the most important one in my opinion. The longer the line sets on the surface, the more the surface tension holds the fly line and makes it hard to get it up off the water. And half or more than half of the mend in my opinion is lifting the line up, getting the line up off the water. So when you see me and my friends fishing through on a day off if we had one, it would look something like this. So I'd make a cast, first mend would be up high and over to the side, getting the line up off the water. After that initial mend, my secondary and third mends are gonna look more like this, a simple lift and set. Now I have extra slack. I can either strip that up or leave it to let my flies drift a little further. Again, cast, big mend. As the, as the line comes down and begins to belly out, I'm gonna lift it and set it. I'm gonna leave that slack to let it keep drifting. And as it bellies out again, I'm just gonna do it again. Really subtle eat. Totally, gosh. You must have just sipped that little dropper down there, huh? Sipped it. Yeah, if that was on the surface, it'd have been a sip. Come here, little sipper. A little cutty. Sir sips a lot. Let me get my hand wet. We care about our wild fish here. And try and be gentle to them. Easy so we've really, we've really been working on the puzzle today. And you know, we floated about a mile, we've caught a ton of little fish, uh, but you switch to something big with a dropper underneath and, and that's the first, you know, good fish of the day. Yeah. This video is made possible by Fish USA, America's fly shop. Visit us today at fishusa.com.